Hi there, my name is Jenny Broomby and I work at JBA Consulting as an Environment and Sustainability Analyst and today I'm going to talk to you about the Broughton Research Hub. So I'll start off with a little bit of background about uh, the reason that I'm here talking to you about a research hub at Broughton Hall. Uh, I'm sure many of you will be aware that there's quite a lot of work going on at Broughton, all of which is very exciting. Um, but for those of you who are um, perhaps not aware, I'll just give a quick overview of, of what's going on. So firstly, um, Roger Tempest, who's the custodian of Broughton Hall, he's being advised at the moment in a private capacity by Alistair Driver, whose uh, day job is Head of Rewilding Britain. Um, he's being advised on a sort of a nature recovery programme and rewilding programme for the estate. Uh, in addition to that, we've got the natural flood management work that's been led by the Environment Agency for Leeds Fast. They are going to be delivering the first phase of the natural flood management, I believe, um, later this year. And then finally, um, the Broughton Hall sort of business, the, the estate itself, is uh, has moved in the last couple of years to a much more sort of holistic well-being focus in terms of the um, opportunities it has on its site. It has a, a large well-being centre and they offer a lot of retreats um, and sort of holistic therapy. So that's all part and part of the, the journey that they're currently so why are JBA involved? Well, um, we've been tenants on the Broughton Hall estate for the last 25 years. Uh, the JBA group head office um, is based in the northern section of the estate. Um, and we were involved in the um, first phase of the natural flood management plans at Broughton, um, subcontracted by Mott McDonald. Um, so through our work on the natural flood management project and also then our increased awareness of what was going on with the nature recovery work, uh, we saw a really unique and exciting opportunity on our doorstep to undertake some, some really innovative research. Um, JBA uh, delivered the Working with Natural Processes evidence base on behalf of DEFRA and the Environment Agency back in 2017. Um, and so we're really keen to continue contributing to those existing evidence bases, as well as the growing evidence bases for the likes of nature recovery, rewilding um, and nature-based solutions. So because there's so many people involved in the various um, activities that are going on at the estate, it feel, feels like a, a really good opportunity to bring the range of stakeholders who are already engaged to get the research hub going. Um, and I should just say that Roger, who's the custodian, as I mentioned before, he's extremely supportive of the idea of a research hub and he wants Broughton to be a place of, um, of learning and, and a place to facilitate sharing of knowledge. These images have been taken from the Broughton Hall website and just provide an overview of the work they're doing specifically to the nature recovery and rewilding. So as you can see, they want to rewild essentially one third of the estate and then the long term farming community is going to remain on the other two thirds. They have already undertaken a significant amount of tree planting, I believe about uh, 180 hectares approximately. Um, so other areas they're looking at are, is natural regeneration, more trees, uh, scrub and grasslands, the creation and restoration of wetland habitats and sensitive woodland management. This slide provides a summary of just some of the research opportunities that we've identified on the estate. It's by no means an exhaustive list, as I've said, as I've said at the bottom, um, and we would welcome any uh, additional research topics. But just to highlight a few, obviously, flood risk management, a, a key one to this group with the natural flood management work uh, being undertaken by the Environment Agency. Of particular importance to Roger and also to many people following the, well, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, is the health and well-being and the impact wilder landscapes have upon um, our health and well-being and, and mental health. We're already seeing some interesting topics come forward, which I'll uh, highlight further, further on in the slide pack, um, looking in particular at natural capital, uh, drought and habitat connectivity. Of course, baseline data and collecting and monitoring uh, data before all these exciting measures go in will be of crucial importance to being able to deliver some of this research. So what are we seeking to achieve? Well, we would like to set up some kind of research hub at Broughton Hall. Um, we want it to become a place for knowledge exchange it, uh, as a demonstration and learning site. We'd like to gain support and commitment from interested stakeholders, and I'll um, touch on who we've already engaged with to date in the next slide. We're going to be creating a research plan which will identify uh, future projects in the sort of immediate uh, and medium term. And we'd also like to identify any funding pots to help fund research at Broughton Hall. We need to collect as much baseline data as possible to enable these projects to go ahead. Uh, and we'd like to do that through um, 
they're an element of citizen science and engage with local communities. And we'd like to work with local schools and colleges to use the site for educational visits. What have we done so far? Uh, well, we were very lucky earlier in the year to be awarded industry partnership seed funding by Water at Leeds, uh, and that money is being used to plan the development of the research hub. We've already engaged with uh, certain stakeholders to identify opportunities for collaboration. So that includes the Environment Agency, the University of Leeds, Lancaster University, Yorkshire Water, the National Trust, uh, Air Rivers Trust. So we've been looking at uh, citizen science with them specifically. Uh, the Broughton Estate, of course, uh, they are very keen and supportive of, of uh, the work that we're planning and Craven College. We are already facilitating three student projects on the estates. We have uh, Luke looking at a natural capital baseline evaluation of the Broughton Hall estate. Zoe is looking at habitat connect connectivity using spatial mapping. And Ian Salisbury is looking at drought risk in Yorkshire using UKCP18 data. Some baseline data has already been collated through um, Broughton Hall's forestry advisor, Matt Taylor, um, and we are, we are obviously very keen to identify opportunities for collecting more baseline data as we go forward and before all of these amazing measures are put in place. So that's a quick whistle stop tour about uh, our plans and aspirations for a, a research hub at Broughton Hall. If you are interested in being involved in some way or have any ideas or, or anything that you would like to contribute, then please do express your interest in the chat and I will follow up with you separately. Um, obviously, the theme of this event is stakeholder engagement. And I think uh, hopefully you've understood from the, my presentation that stakeholders are crucial um, to delivering a, a successful research hub. So, yeah, the more the merrier. Thank you very much for listening uh, and happy to uh, answer any questions. Thank you.